Hi, my name is Paul Alfano. I'm an application engineer for Intercell. I'm going to introduce ISL 85015 that will help you simplify your design while maintaining similar efficiency or better than standard buck regulators. This one is a synchronous buck regulator and let me show how this topology works. This is the block diagram that you may find in the data sheet. We have the two upper and lower FET integrated which eliminates the need for external drivers. And also, we have integrated the compensation. It could be internal compensation or it could be external compensation. That also eliminates the need for components. In order to have performance optimization, we also have the frequency that also can be adjustable. But looking at the performance of efficiency, we have optimized the curves that indicates at light load, our efficiency can go up to 95 percent and in heavy load is also maintaining that you reduce RDS on of the output fats, integrated fats. So while integrating them we also ensure a very good performance but minimizing their RDS on. Going back to the topology because of the peak current mode control pulse width modulation architecture there is also a fast transient response that this part can have, can ensure. Also the part has synchronization, has a sync pin. If the sync pin is tied high, that can ensure PWM forced PWM operation. If sync pin is tied low, then there will be a forced PFM. However, the part will have a very good transition, PFM to PWM, because of this architecture. Also, in PWM mode, the frequency can be internal, default 500 kilohertz, or external, selectable, from 300 kHz to 2 MHz optimize component and efficiency. We also output voltages selectable from 0.6 volts all the way to 95% of the input voltage. Quiescent current is also very low on the part as well as shutdown current. Enable and power good are also additional added features. That is also explained in the data sheet. All these features and characteristics are explained in the application note and data sheet you might ref refer to them. Because of its wide input voltage range, eight out of 10 design engineers would have a need to use this part in the application from consumer devices to industrial markets. Thank you.